It's us, it's two girls and one pod. How many girls? Two. How many pods? One. Sing it with me. Two girls, one pod. We are the girls and this is the pod. Welcome to us, we'll get in your ears. We love to chat, sometimes we don't, but we always mostly do. Yay. Yeah. How white was that? Well done. Yeah, that was so bad. It's giving, um, it's giving, watch me whip. Watch me nay <laughs> nay. Nay, nay. Now watch me with whip. The white, with the white kids. If you don't know what we're talking about, remember whip nay nay song and then a bunch of white children did a, uh, what do you call it when you're in a chorus? Choir. Um, yeah. Choir. A choir version and they danced to Watch Me Whip. Yeah. We'll put it on our Instagram. Whip. It's so bad that it's beautiful. We love it. But welcome back, everybody. Um, yeah. I'm Angie. That's Evie. I'm in Turrible. She's in Wurundjeri and we're back for another another verse and we're excited. We've got a fair bit to talk about this week. We do. Why don't we kick off with what just happened last week, which was who, no, not last week, on Sunday, the winner of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here for 2023. I'm very happy Liz about it. Ellis, Queen Elizabeth, as people have mm. been calling her. And wow. very happy to see it. Personally. Very happy. How about you? Yeah. I we think were texting each other at the texted, time. It was quite yeah. a lovely group text. You, you, me and Richard Reid were having um, mm. because, you know, we've been at that, at that moment and it was really sweet because um, you know, we were watching it play out and it was so similar and you know, oh, what about, what about this week? How they, <laughs> I'm a celebrity socials put up the, who's going to join the, King and Queen alumni of the jungle accidentally put up the fake winning of me. Did they put on the fake winning? Yeah. Remember I sent it to you? I thought you said that that was just an article. I didn't think it was on the actual page. No. No, it was it was up for about maybe 45 minutes. Oh, My and nephew I got rang the... and goes, "Hey." Yes. Yeah, yes. and so it was it was the fake because there was our year we had to go back to Australia to do the announcing of the winner because Chris and Julia had to get back and start um, Chris and Julia's Sunday Night Takeaway. Sunday Night Takeaway. So it was the only year that we had to all, like everyone voted, the voting lines were closed, everyone, and then they did both of the <laughs> um You won, you won, and then we went back to Australia. And so cooked. I think that's some insider information that people would love because I think a lot of people love to know what happens behind the scenes of Mm. TV and the madness that Mm. it is because you all get so invested sitting on your bums comfortably at home. But Evie and Richard, after having to not pretend to be anything for five weeks almost, where you're so raw and stripped from everything, as you know, um, had to pretend for the first time in five weeks that both of them had won. Do you know how ridiculous yeah. and like we we just came from the couch <laughs> our couches like we weren't celebrities. Um you know no. we didn't know how much people no. loved watching we us. Done we were just anything. we hadn't done yeah. anything. So for Evie to have to sit there and pretend that she had won in the middle of South Africa with the streamers, she got the crown put on, she yeah. had to scream yeah. and then that yeah. gets stripped I from got her to sit like on the throne. two weeks later <laughs> when they actually announced that Richard won. It was it's so cooked and it's really it's actually really mentally abusive if you think about it well it is it's a very weird thing and you know what I knew it wasn't going to be me because they do this on a lot of shows pre-recorded shows so the crew won't um release like MKR and MasterChef and a lot like Lego Masters and stuff like that they always do two winners so yeah. you don't have they can do it on Dancing with the Stars you know it's pre-recorded and it's not I going live they did do it's it so easy to with leak Dancing with the Stars actually they did they did two different endings for Grant Dania and um Courtney Act that's right and yeah. then we found yeah. out oh god ages after when yeah, ages. Grant had won. That's right. I forgot about that. So it does happen a lot. But to me, Grant and Courtney, they've been in the industry for like 20 years. Like we were babies, fresh off a four-year show, yeah. yes, comfortably on Gogglebox. So to have to pretend after being taken from my couch, thrown in the African, South African jungle, and then it's like, all right, you have to pretend you just won this. It's like, wait, what? What? <laughs> wait. 
Did I not win it? I feel like a winner. Yeah. And they'd never done it on I'm a Celebrity ever. It no. always goes live. Yeah. So it's it was live. A, the first pre record. Like the show is pre recorded, but only nine hours pre recorded beforehand. Oh, and then it's show. edited down and it's shown really quickly. But um, I just, um, just to prove it, listen to this. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, Australia 2019 is. I am going to have to put it up on our socials, and because this is just so funny, it is just so funny. Like, why even keep that footage? Number one, and some young intern has clearly gone into and and like only knows of me from that season has looked at the archives and gone, "Oh, there it is." And I got a DM from um, someone being like, Evie needs to say more how much she, like, won because it's so impressive and everybody thinks it's Richard. And I was like, doll, she did get second and Richard did one. (laughs) Right, is that what that DM meant? Yeah, I was so confused. I was like, no, you're right. She she was (gasps) like, I always thought Richard had won and Evie got second. And I was like... Yeah, why are you bringing this up like four years later? That's exactly what happened. And now I understand why she wrote that. So sorry if I wrote back to that lady so confused. I was so dazed and confused by that But something – right. Well, yeah. See, communication is the key, Angela Belize. Um, You know something else that I missed on that? that Because I watched the whole thing once it was taken down. Someone had screen recorded the whole post. I watched the thing and it went straight from me winning and then it went to Abby winning. They missed out Miguel completely. (laughs) He wasn't even put in that package because he was the next year's winner after Richard. (laughs) So it was like, oh my God, are you drunk? Like, what's going on in the social medias of I'm so it went down and then two days later they put it up again properly as if it hadn't happened. But it had. And Richard, that's like one of Richard's most beloved. Beloved moments of all time. He loves that sick. So for him to, even the thought of him for being stripped of that crown, he will come for you, Evie Jones. He will come for you. I sent it to you. him first. Yeah. Oh, God. I it's did send it to him and go, see, I really am the winner. Ha, 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 Just to oh, rub it in a little bit. But you know like, what? I said, you me. will always be our Jungle King, Mr. Richard Reed. So and he no will. one can ever take that away from you. No. Nah, so yeah, even, we got Liz Ellis. Who not came. even Liz. She did so well. I think the top three were amazing. I w- would have been happy with yeah. either Harry, Liz, or Aisha uh, to win. They were just yes. so beautiful, and it was such a good. We were saying this. It's we had a little argument, a disagreement with Richard because we were like, "This is the best season ever," and this is coming from people that have been oh, on that the was show. Funny. And he was like, "No, that no, was no, no." Funny. It was tied with us, and I was like, "I reckon this year's better, but we were funnier. Like yep. our season was funnier because we had way more cookers. Like cuckoo crazy, yeah. put us in a." loony bin like we were just all nuts which was fabulous I think that's why we all got along so well whereas I think this year's was just a better like group of people in terms of just like celebrity wise um and a mix but yeah I just thought it was such a good season um it's Chris Brown's last season so watching it was quite emotional because it's like the thought of him not being there with Julia when they're just like they are the real kings and queen king and queen of I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. So whoever's going to, yeah, take that. I saw an article, I think it was so dramatic, of course, my go-to source, um, saying, you know, there's a list of people out now and our mate Shane Crawford. And I thought he would be a good one to be with Julia, actually. Mm, he would, yeah. He would he be good. Would. He'd fit in really He'd well. because stand he... on a box. <laughs> Bless him. He's only teeny tiny. <laughs> He's only a little man. Go off, tiny king. Go off, tiny Go king. Off. But I feel like he would be a goodie because if you put someone like, um, like from the same kind of, I don't know, what would you say, Chris, like level of TV world, people are just going to tear them down. Whereas Shane, everybody loves a footy player. Massive comparison. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Massive comparison, that's what I'm looking for. Whereas Shane is just so lovable. Like I think he came in two weeks late and he got third. So like everybody loves Shane. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's right. So he would be a goodie. And then there was like Scott Tweedy. Would, I think he's, he's too similar I to Chris. DM Scott. And mm. I said, is this true? And he said, absolutely not true. 
<laughs> and I said, well, you would have been, I think, pretty good at it. He did our Saturday schoolies. He was, was beautiful. Great. He's divine, but he's too similar to Chris slash doesn't have the profile. Yeah. Um, who else yeah. was on there? There was oh rumors Osha originally Jimmy was Reeves. gonna be who's that? Oh Jimmy, Jimmy Giggle. Is, Jimmy Giggle, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't yeah, I like him, but no. I can't no. see that. Either. He's very funny. He does all those great videos, you know, he started in yeah. um, the pandemic and then he's kind of he does um stand up with them now. So he's very good at characters Maybe. and everything. I think and he People was a do great love host. His stuff. On Hoot and Giggle. Like, he's a really great. Oh, um, I think. God, everybody loved that. But, it, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's chemistry, isn't it? It's chemistry. And that's what, you know, Chris and Julia ended up doing that show because that year they present, they got put together at the Logies to do a, an award, to present an award. You know, they just oh. throw people together, like the weirdest yes. of, of people from different networks. Well, they threw those two together and they absolutely wiped the floor with how mm. funny they were. She's funny and he played the straight man, which she didn't even expect to happen. But they were yeah. so good going off each other that the execs at 10 went, wow, wow, this is this is a duo. We need to capitalise on that chemistry. And they did and yeah, they put them on I'm a Celebrity did. and the rest is history. So that's what they've really that's got to look for. That's a little inside goss. They yeah. do just random. That's why I was thinking Shane would be a goodie because remember they had the history of them being on um, um, Celebrity Apprentice together. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Shane used to do the afternoon Warner Brothers show, didn't he? Like he was great. He's a great host. It's very funny. and he's He'd be a great, great with- host. yeah. He's just kind of gone missing. Mm, yeah, well, he's, he's, he's gone missing doing, though. It's like, where is he? I oh, know he's doing. Um, what happens? He's doing a musical at the moment. Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. He's oh, I not saw Joseph, that. By God the love way. him. God love him. He's so random. You know, if you're listening, we Shane, put, stop not yeah, answering our texts. Are you? Jesus Christ! I stopped messaging him like three years ago. I gave up on that. I Same with him and, him, him and Luke can be put in a nice little bin yeah. together where it's like, yeah. where, who, who the f*** were you in the jungle and where the f*** are you now? Yeah, <laughs> very weird, very different R.I.P. Person. Kings. You know, yeah, what we were very arguing. different from what you see. Yeah, mm. yeah, what we were arguing about um, better or worse cast this year. I yeah. think they were a better cast this year, but I think that that was because the casting was just right and – yeah. Um, people are a lot more savvy to that show now, and um, so much more. You know, Alex Mavrodakis, he has said he wanted another season like ours. So he this time, yeah, the money, the budget wasn't there. All the budget went on one big person, who we all know now. But at the time, I didn't mm. know who that was when he was saying that. Um, it, we're spending all of our budget on one big person, and the rest are going to be relatively oh, low paid, but are going to be like season five where it's just really great people, like Ooh. really great connections and chemistry with people. Well, it so, worked. Yeah, yeah, it did. And actually I believe and you believe it worked a little bit better than our season. But I think well, that's I, because yeah. different people, you know, you get different things. But God, a great cast, great season, so enjoyable. Oh, I mean, then, look, it's the it's the last one now until like, like with Dr. Chris and then until next year. So next year we'll have a whole new thing to talk about, not just the celebrities. Mm. Like, who's the new person? Who have they got? Like, you know, do they fit in? And I really feel sorry for that person, to be honest. But what a yeah, what a job! Too. Like, what a job. job right there. Yeah, now I just do want to touch on um, AJ Rochester, who was from our season, and she's gone and yes. gone on TikTok and made a few claims she's been about. Kicking off. Like she just, you know, she just, she, oh God, it's like, I don't know how many followers this woman have. She's got quite the few people going, oh my God, this is amazing. Oh my God. But she's got a I've lot never... on TikTok. She's got a lot of followers and her, she gets hundreds of comments about it because she's she's just like dropping her truth bombs yes. on everybody and, and people like, Oh, num num numbing it right up. <laughs> and when I was looking at her TikTok, she she posts a lot, and that's what it's all about. It's about dropping your posts, like getting your content out there. And she is that what just you goes do? for it. See, yeah. I know TikTok. I'm gonna I'm gonna start and see what happens. Just yeah, start do talking it. Shit, just Why dropping not? shit like it's hot. Just tell um, them my manic stories. 
yeah, why not? Well, you could be, yeah, one of those girls, but uh, one of those, those men <laughs> even. Um, one of those people. I do want to just say that, you know, a bit of a retort because you sent it to me and I just rolled my eyes, obviously. But um, she she mm-hmm. did the whole Channel 10 can choose a winner. You don't know that. So, you know, I think that that is a really reductive thing to say because in every contract that's true. Um, unless that yeah. it's a competition, which it isn't a competition for us. We weren't going to win any money, um, but we were raising money. But Channel 10 and ITV, they don't want to choose the winner unless they absolutely have to because something has happened. There's no way they Wait, want to choose the winner. Were you the secret source? Yeah. That's so dramatic. I used. certainly was. <laughs> I knew it was you. I knew so it was it you. To you. I was I was listening. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. You must have sent it to oh, someone else. I sent it to Richard. Then. No, you didn't send it to me. And I was listening to So Dramatic and I was like, I bet you this source, a source tells me. And I was like, I bet you it's Evie Jones. And it it's was me. you. It's me. Um, <laughs> She's the source. Megan, I was listening to it and sent it to Megan and went, this is bullshit. And this is, you know, blah, 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 blah. So what I said on that, which I will say to you now is, yeah, Tank and choose a winner but they don't want to I mean why would they want to when it's the public who is watching and make the ratings so of course you're going I mean if 10 could choose a winner they would have chosen Ricky Lee to win Australian Idol you know like it's it's just it's Australian voting you know and they actually pay money there is a third party that has to watch those votes that are not Channel 10 and they're not ITV they have to be done by a proper auditing company and so it's not rigged. So it's not rigged. Channel 10 can ultimately choose the winner, but it is normally if it's if there's something has happened, like s- someone has done something yeah. wrong or illegal Naughty. or they've, you know, gotten sick or something like that. Um, she always goes, funny how, you know, like they always keep the chefs in. Have you ever noticed the chefs last most of the show? And it's like, no, they yeah. don't. Like they didn't last no. season. Anna was the first one out and Justine was halfway through ours. And like no, halfway, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, they don't. And what are they doing in and there Channel as 10 chefs? And talent always win? <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Yeah. It's bullshit. Um, I no, mean, I Channel 10 talent her, do um, go. Opinion. Oh, it is. Yeah. And this is just my opinion as well. But it's yeah. a little bit Well, that's fun. it. The funny thing is AJ was in there for two weeks and talks like she was there the entire time and she knows everything that happened. And what really annoyed me about what she had to say was something like, yeah, didn't you notice that Ange and that dickhead Justin got all the Tucker trials because they were trying to set them up. She was going to be the bachelorette and he was going to be the bachelor. Oh, f- off mm. like he was never no. going to be the bachelor and you wouldn't you didn't do anything but one tucker trial and that was way down the track when she wasn't even down in the there track anymore. No. <laughs> i think richard was saying that maybe she got mixed up between tucker trials and trials i think she thinks tucker trials to me tucker trials is when you eat right that's yeah. what i thought yeah but she's saying tucker trials is in like every trial is one she's yeah. saying that i got every trial which was a yeah. lie i got like five and I he didn't get got many at all. all of them. And she said there's he no way the public them. were voting him in. And it's like, yes, they were. But yeah, that's the were. same as they what Cass was being him. voted in. They wanted suffer. to see him Yeah, and suffer. Dom. They love seeing people with big mouths. Suffer. Yes. Or, yeah, they love watching them do the trials and providing the food. And hard. And, the, and – Side note, I actually wasn't picked as the Bachelorette pre-jungle. No, exactly. I went from Gogglebox. They yep. watched me on the jungle maybe and, and were like, oh, made great the choice then. Yes. Then after it, yes. we had a chat. I had to go in, have a talk with them, and they were like, do you want it? They weren't like, oh, Angie's going to be the Bachelorette, so let's give her heaps of airtime so people love her. I was just – people just liked to watch me, um, AJ, because I was fun. Yeah. So was and there's that. no way anyone would thought – but. Justin was going to be the bachelor. The EP absolutely no. loved Justin from Love Island because he knows Love how Island. weird he is yeah. and how much great, great TV television. he can be. And you know, and yeah. most of the country Kick thought he was gay. How is he going to be the next bachelor? Channel Ten would have never even given him a th- an inkling of a thought. Like absolutely no. not. So, um, you know, that's just our little takeaways from. Um, her little TikToks. That's just a little rebuttal. Little rebuttal like, from us. I like the rebuttals. I think they're fun and she's dropping them like they're hot. And it's not that we don't like AJ. Oh, yeah. I personally really like her. I think she's she cracks me up. But um I'm yeah, not a fan. Like, 
No, I know you're not, hers. but I wasn't going to say not. that. No. <laughs> oh, well, I, you don't you know. Just, you don't you have to. You could just put, put yourself but right in that one. Yeah. She's a bully. Blur, like the way she talks about some people, she can be so mean. Yeah, I really liked her. And then I found out when we got out of the jungle, um, she said just a lot of nasty stuff about me. And she, she did say some just, stuff. She was making you, up she? things and she'd bitched about me inside the camp. And I mean, and that's the other thing. She was like, she knew that she was being voted out because she heard Ollie um, say while on mic. He hadn't muted himself saying, oh, can you get AJ's exit interview? He, she goes, that was the Saturday and the, the voting hadn't even started. The voting started a week earlier, woman. And Everybody does yeah, exit you, interviews. You, everyone does e- exit interviews. You weren't the only one and you were the first one out because the audience were like, oh, my God, she cried on day two. And it was mm, so She told fake. a lot of stories. Yeah, oh, she was... did tell a lot of stories. If I knew she was talking about you in the camp, I would have been like, what the hell? But I never heard it until no, maybe No, she after. wouldn't have said anything around you. She would. Yeah, remember how she, she kept trying to say that you two were the big – remember there was a scene yeah. and she was like saying that you two were the fat, funny girls and you were like, mm-hmm. no, mm. that's not – And she was like, making was... fat jokes. She was making yeah, she fat jokes making and fat I said jokes. to her – can you please stop making fat jokes? And she goes, no, Mm. it's fine if you're a fat person. You can make fat jokes about yourself. And I said, I don't think you can. I don't think it's funny. What's funny about a fat body? And she goes, no, you don't understand. And I said, "Um, I'm a fat person, so I think I do understand. And I really went to town on her and she turned on me from that moment on. She thought we were going to be fat besties, (laughs) just be friends with someone because of a body shape. Her and Jackie were kind of like this duo of just like big, powerful, strong women. And then we kind of came in and she felt threatened by you and then there was me who kind of came in and was friends with everyone as well. It was almost like she was a bit like, ooh, um, because she did say some very interesting things about you post-show. <laughs> Should yeah. we say one of them or not? Or do you not yes, want to say it? Yes, yes. No, please. <laughs> there was this one. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, but you think it's funny. If it hurt your no, feelings, I, I would have laughed hilarious. about it. It didn't hurt my so, feelings at all. So she reckons Evie would sit on her bed and... <laughs> <laughs> and pick her feet, which she did do. Like you would pick your feet. Yeah. We we're bored. You pick yeah. your nose. You pick we're your bum. You no, pick I your had feet. a I had a toenail coming off. Remember? Yeah, like yes, a toenail that's it. was coming off. Yes, and you were p- picking that off. And then Justine uh, said, "Evie, can you please come up and help me chop or something?" And you didn't yeah. wash your hands. And then you touched yep. the food with the food. your little toe, with your little toe, toe hands. Fingers. And she also said that yep. you would pick your cold sores. And then yeah. touch the food. And I was like, yeah. oh, my God, yeah. that is why. Okay, <laughs> so that – that, and when I found that out, I was just like, what is wrong with her? Number one, I had been touching my feet and if and I only ever helped with the food once, once. Mm. And that was the only time throughout the entire camp because everyone was helping. And Justine said, do you want to cut the carrots? And I said, yeah, absolutely. That was maybe – an hour later, after I'd been touching my feet, did not even think, did not even think. And and she's watching me going, what a gross woman, touching our food. Never, but like yelling out, Evie, oh my God, wash I'm sorry, hands. but can you go and wash your hands? Because I... I've just watched you touching your feet. And I would have gone, oh, my God, of course. Shit, thank you so much. Instead, she just went, oh, that's gross. I'm going to talk to everyone about how gross Evie is, why she can't can. wash her hands. I didn't have a cold sore until halfway through and she yeah. was gone by the time I got cold sores. So she's full of shit. Who AJ. told – I swear she <laughs> told – she told Justin this, and then now she's mm. throwing Justin mm-hmm. under the bus. So, yeah, oh, she, God, doesn't look, stop. she doesn't stop. 2019, 2019 dramas coming back to <laughs> coming back to haunt. Whatever keeps you relevant, doll. Let's move on. Yeah, on to the next. <laughs> All right, so last week we decided to do a fun little thing of lies and myths our parents told us. 
So, you know, those things where I won't even give any away, but you know, things that parents would tell you that would mostly scare the shit out of you or force you to do something that you really didn't want to do or to get you into bed or, oh, that sounds bad. Not like get you into bed. (laughs) Not get you into bed. Get get, get you to go to bed. (laughs) Get you to go to bed or or, um, have your dinner, you know, eat your peas. So we put it to our stories and we thought, let's let the people tell us what what they were told yeah. and there was one did you notice there was one there was really one. big recurring one yes yes it, it was you know I never heard it as a child but I heard it as an adult I heard Hamish and Andy asking this question and a listener called in and said it said that when the ice cream truck was playing music it meant the ice cream truck was out of ice cream I never heard that before so I don't know oh. if it was really Oh, oh no, no, I was talking of a different one. No, but that one came okay. up a lot as well. So in my what were you oh, we had an seeing. We had an Angie and Evie one and then this one might, might have just been on my personal page. There was one where it's when you leave the inside light on in the car while you're driving. Yes. It is illegal, very illegal and you can you can um, be fined or go to jail. So many kids were told that by their parents, if you touch the light or if you have the light on, that's illegal, we get a fine or we can go to jail. There was about 20 of those on Did my one. Did your parents say it? Yep, yep, all the time. We were, what's whenever the reasoning that light was for on. that? Um, I think it's because you know, kids flick everything maybe. And maybe yeah. kids would turn that I on. So it's like if you do that, we go to you go to jail or go to it's jail. just a distraction. <laughs> my mum said you doing that, it. Yeah, but my mum even said she told us that because she believed that the police would pull you over um, because her parents told her that. So she actually didn't know that it was, I think it's just like a, it's an old wives tale. Like I don't think anything happens. Yeah, it's just like a, it's, it's just like a threat. My parents would tell me not to do it because at nighttime with the interior light on, it was harder to see outside. And what was around because everything's dark and it's light inside. So maybe that's why. That's but you the can't reason why that I never kid. did. Oh, okay. All these well, other ones were kind of t- like thirty-five-year-old, four-year-old that I was. I yeah. would have been going. You were like, I oh, want right, to I understand. Yeah, I can understand that. Well, there's a Siggy <laughs> Susan. Can I <laughs> in the back seat? Can I borrow your lighter, pass- Sue? <laughs> I would have gone when she explained the, oh, you need the exterior to be as dark as the interior. I would have gone, well, you know what, Susan Merrill, that makes a lot of sense. Now give me a Marlboro light. (laughs) Where all these other dum-dums are like, don't touch that a lot, otherwise you'll go to jail. Sorry, Mum, I'll go to jail for touching a light. You know the whole point of why I came up with this question? for this segment was because wow. the amount of lies we get as children that I truly so believe many. we don't need. If you just explain things to kids, kids are a lot more absorbent and understanding than I think it's lazy parenting who just, they go, oh, I can't be f***ed or they don't know. It's like the Nazi goring, you know, they, they built the, the big wall to China of China because it was to yeah. keep the, the, uh, get the, the rabbits out because rabbits. the parents didn't yeah. know. The answer no. to things. So they. So well, what? What have we got? Standard. A few things on the list. We do. We've got. A, we've got quite the list here. You want to kick one off? Yeah. Mum said our tongue would turn green if we were lying. So then, if we didn't show our tongue, she knew we were lying. That's a pretty good Ooh, one. Like that's a. That is a good you know, one. that's a sneaky, sneaky smart mum one. Not a that lazy mum. That is a mom. smart mum. This one I heard that's... a lot growing up too, that going for a swim after eating would give you a stitch. You know how you were never allowed to swim yeah. straight away. But what is the theory of that? I feel like that's real. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't like kids eating after, like eating and swimming. I'd always go, no, you need to wait for your food to digest. I don't know. Yes. I don't know if there's a theory behind it. Maybe we need to ask a doctor. Yes, that's something for the future. Um, we've got you could only use tampons if you weren't a virgin. <laughs> I oh, actually thought so that, but I came up like with that. that myself. I thought if you're a virgin and you have a hymen, there's no way you're getting. Do you know? Do you know what? Do you want to know something really funny? I said to yeah. my. <laughs> just remember this. You're gonna oh. love it. I knew that my brother and I were both cesarean births. 
and I, my mum never used tampons. So in my teenage wisdom, I've said to my mum, oh my God, that's why you don't use tampons, mum. And she's gone, why? And I went, because you never put a baby through your vagina. Oh, bless you your heart. You can't put anything can't. in it. And she goes, I don't think that's the reason. And I went, well, I haven't had a baby and I can't get them up there. (laughs) Isn't that interesting? But you know what? That kind of makes sense that you would. Yeah, that would, that makes sense that you would think that. Oh, yeah. I've never put anything up there. No, I who like oh tampons make me feel weird. Um, yeah. Oh, this one was a sad one. Our dogs went to a farm when we moved into state and primary school. <laughs> Truth came out in our early twenties. A lot of parents oh. would say, "Your we've sent the dogs to a farm." Actually, I had a dog called Sally, and still mm. to this day, Dad promises me she did go to a farm because she's a cattle dog, and she was only a puppy. Mm. Um, no, well, she and I, we watched she her would've. get get picked up. So in this picked case, up, yeah. my story was actually true, but I did hear a lot of people would say, oh, the dog's on. Mum had one and she said oh, her dad ran over it and they couldn't bear to tell her. And she loved this oh. dog, Honey, so much. And then she'd yeah. say, they'd go, look, there's Honey up there in the mountains. And she'd go, oh, yeah, there's Honey. I see Honey. You know, babies, you can tell them anything, like oh. five-year-olds. Oh, I see. Oh, she's running with oh. the other doggies. Like She's bless, so happy. sweet, I sweet lies. Like, why the f- did Honey leave me? What yeah, bring Honey back. Dog? I know that's actually yeah, just quite bring mean, her back. If you love a dog so much, you would think, why does she not want to be with me anymore? Yeah, anyway, just tell that's them. How a lot of tell us the have... child that she died <laughs> instead of saying she left you. She left your you dad for a killed her farm. Your dad ran over her. My niece, Jaden, she replied to that and said that happened to her. And I was like, who? With what dog? Oh. And she said, when I was a kid, remember we had Cedar? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, yeah, they told me, mum and dad told me that she went to a farm when she died, when she got put down. I'm like, oh, that's mm. awful. She goes, I didn't find out until I was 17 or something. It's I like, think. yeah. She was, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I that's a that's a tough one. I think if you maybe some kids don't need to know about death until they're older and maybe you should tell them. It's one of those things. Oh it's my, like it's up yeah, to you as a parent. Exactly. Um, exactly. There's some good ones here actually. The uh, pee in the pool and the water would yes. turn purple. We got told that, that was a all big the time. one. That was a good yes. deterrent. Yes, don't pee in the pool, otherwise everyone will see. Wonder what this one was all about, that eating bread crust would make your hair curly. It's like, who cares if your hair went curly? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe people wanted curly hair back in the day because we would get told, eat all your crusts and your hair will go curly. Yeah. Maybe it was something we wanted because I would go, I don't want to eat my crust. I don't care that my hair would go curly. I don't care for it. See, we wouldn't the eat the crust. Yeah, we wouldn't eat the crust because we didn't want no. curly hair. But people would be like, yeah, don't eat them because your hair will go curly. So weird. Yeah. What about thunderstorms where the fairies moving furniture in the clouds? Oh, that's what a cute now? one. That is cute. cute. Thunderstorms with a fairy. I wish I could explain that to my dog, Autumn, that gets so terrified during thunderstorms. The chewing gum one, you read out that one because that was a big one. Oh, my God, this one was huge. If you swallowed chewing gum, (laughs) it would take seven years to pass through your stomach. What what the hell? I believed that so much to the point that I was, like, petrified of swallowing my gum. And you know how sometimes you accidentally do it and you're like, (gasps) and you're like, no, seven years. Seven years with that one chewy, juicy fruit in me. What What about eating watermelon seeds would mean a melon would grow in your tummy? Yeah, I remember that one. That one's on my list too. got told that. I was like, geez, I don't want a watermelon in my tummy. I really don't want a watermelon in my tummy. Anyway, no. from one of our producers, Amy, she goes um, that the hazard oh, lights know. button was the ejector seat button and if we weren't quiet in the car, Dad would threaten to push the button. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amy's dad's a saddest but a badass. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but, Amy, that's pretty cool thing. Pretty cool. Yeah, you've got to uh, – so many people still kill, tell their kids things just to – Shut them up. What about this one? Don't wash your hair before bed. You'll get a cold. I was told that and my dad will still touch my hair if I come home and it's wet and he's like, you're going to go to bed with wet hair. And I'm like, I am like 85 years old now. 
Why do you care if yes. I get sick? It's, re- it's a very weird one. I mean, I can't understand the logic. I put my head down on the pillow with wet hair and because I have baby fluff for hair, it's dry <laughs> within maybe five minutes. Like it's dried so fast and then I wake up with that you know, one-sided helmet head. Um, oh, yeah. I was watching a TikTok the other day that said never go to bed with wet hair as a hairdresser, this guy was saying, because it really is damaging for your hair. A oh. Wet hair is a bad thing because it stays wet while you're smothering it. That's why you never leave it in a towel or anything like that. Oh. He said you've got to let it air dry, otherwise the not the cuticle, or but the absorbency. There's something. It was a very interesting TikTok, and I can't quote it properly, but it made a lot of sense when he said it. Some people wrote the most hardcore things. Uh, my, what did your parents tell you? That love didn't exist. <gasps> oh, heavy. Oh, that's a that's that a re- single mum that was were, very upset. Yeah, with her f- ex-husband. That yeah. lesbians were female vampires. Oh my god! If I touch myself. I'd go blind. Oh, that's a big one. <gasps> that's that's a some Catholic, Catholic one. Yeah. guilt right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, I was told if I had sex before leaving school or in, before I was in love or masturbated or anything that God was watching me. I was told that. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. told, oh, well, God can see that. And I'm like, mm, Jesus Christ, all righty. Well, I hope he's having a bloody good time. Not only God was watching, but there was like people who you were related to that were deceased could see you and see whatever you're doing as well. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, how f- is that let's not lie to children but sometimes we need to lie to children to get them to oh, do stuff who cares they're little assholes Lame. yes they just are and them. they and they turn into big assholes so just lie to them and um you know yeah f- them all up i do i do whisper into my dog's faces every night when we're going to sleep please be alive forever and i i tell myself Otherwise, that little fib what? that that they'll. Oh, you I just your go. Own myth. I do. I have. I myth myself. I myth myself. Oh, that's sweet. Um, I myth so myself. I myth. I myth you too. <laughs> I I've myth. You all I've mythed you a lot, actually. I've. I have given you myths that you've believed. So I mean, we we'll talk about that at another. But the oh, myths you're I've the done to you is the best. I, I'm the best. For I'm that. a victim. Of victim? Evie Jones's myth Miss. since I was 21 years old. And you know what? She could still do it to me. <laughs> and you I need still to will. do one not so yep. close to this episode and see if I believe. So, yes, uh, I will. Because uh, also, if you don't believe, you yeah. don't receive. Oh my That's God. Did you just one. make that up? Is that a Jesus nah, thing? Nah. When you were. <laughs> when you. <laughs> <it's a> prob- <laughs> believe. Don't believe. <laughs> You don't receive. Anyway, um, it's it. the, it's we've just begun May. You and I had a huge conversation on the weekend. We had this massive big heart to heart, and we decided that mm. we needed to talk a lot more to each other. That this is a, a little reminder for anyone listening that you know, if you haven't been in touch with some of your friends as much as you once used to, reach out mm. because sometimes you know there's. There's things going on that you don't understand, or you've miscommunicated, or you've misunderstood, and I yes. mean, it, it's also okay to on have a break. Different frequencies, yeah. Yes, but sometimes definitely. you know, um, sometimes chatting things out really, really does help. And we also had a big chat about our health and our mental health, yes. and how much. You know, both of us have been in pretty bad places lately and physically, mm-hmm. funnily enough, both for with um, women's reproductive problem, health problems, but at yes. d- completely different ages and the th- kind of things that can happen at different ages. So you're, um, you know, you're in the endo, PCOS, um, ad- adeno world and I'm in the perimenopause, menopause world. Yes. And um, it's, it's quite similar. Like there's a lot of similarities, you mm-hmm. know, the rage and the fatigue and the depression and the anxiety and the, the anxiety, physical pain yeah. and, um, you know, just the helplessness and, you know, the dizziness yeah. and all of that kind of thing, um, that we decided to make a little pact between us that we'd have a what we call a magic, magic May. Magic May. 
So what are we going to do this month? So we decided, number one, firstly, to not let it go so long in between having our big chats because normally Evie and I would talk nearly every day or send voice messages, but we hadn't been doing that because, you know, life happens. And then, um, like you mentioned, we just didn't realise that situations had happened and we both thought of it so differently. So always being honest with one another, checking in. Mm -hmm. But we also have decided, because our mental and physical health has been quite off recently, that we're going to start doing, you know, little fun exercises and activities. So I joined... Uh, restarted my reformer Pilates again and we're both giving up alcohol for Magic May mm-hmm. and we're just going to like yep. detox and be honest with our feelings, yep. um, whether it's work-related, personally, and just talk more because we fully realised, and I know we've probably said it a thousand times, that communication is key, not just in relationships, yeah. but even in friendships. Yeah, in everything. It's very important because you're not everything. thinking the same as old mate next to you, Joe Blow down the no. road, your best friend. No. We all see through our own eyes and our own conditioning. So to have a chat about it and be open to what's going on in whoever's life that you're dealing with is so important. So we're really excited about Incredibly Magic May. Important. Mine's kicked off really yeah. well. I've done me reformer Pilates. I've done my Essence Energetics uh, class, uh, not class, what do you call it, session. Um, yep. I'm doing saunas. I'm doing other spiritual yep. things. I'm loving it. No booze, healthy eating. What's yeah, yours kicked too. off to be? I, I started my first strength class this morning. Yeah, and you did. I did it. And I, I've joined a women's only gym. Yes. And it's a beautiful space. It's a dance studio, um, Pilates, reformer Pilates. I mean, that is something I'll have to get to and, it, you know, something that I can – um, aspire to get to because you know yeah, I did this strength thanks. class this morning yes. and I did it I got all the way through it and the teacher was so lovely and she said you did a lot better than I thought you were going to do and I said yeah me too actually um, but I did all the easy you know like I didn't do the full hardcore ones I could only bend to a certain degree yeah. and all that kind of thing so it'll be really exciting to see my body start to get that strength back yes. that I used to have where I could just bend over and squat and do all the things <laughs> I wanted to do I could drop it like it's hot you and I could. can't drop it I can only drop now like a f-ing bag of potatoes <laughs> so I can't <laughs> which is still hot <laughs> I love potatoes. Which is hot so for I'm Irish doing. people, but you know that's right. That's right. Well, that's so, right. But I'd, I would really like to to drop it like it's hot again, rather than drop it like a bag of potatoes. So and you will. Um, and the first still... stage is the hardest. That's yeah, like I will. getting out that's of your right. mind, leaving the ego at the door, and just being like, "I'm going to do yep. it," because no one else is looking at you. They're all looking at themselves. No. That's right. Everyone, and I noticed that everyone's looking at themselves. Oh, yeah. And I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, damn, you got good legs, girl. You do have good <laughs> legs, sister. That's what I thought. And they're, they're only going to get better. Whew. Yeah. The strength. I can't wait for my knees to be strong again. Yeah, I know. Look out. So that's uh, – if, if you all would like to join us, like this oh, isn't yeah, a culty kind of <laughs> um, do- diet regime, like eight-week no. challenge or anything. We're doing like, this for our this mental just, health. If you'd like – to join us, um, tell us, you know, join us. We're going to call it Magic May and we actually think that we might keep going after May. Like I I hope I will because I know how much better I feel when I don't drink. I know yeah. how much better I feel when um, I move more. So yes. this is something that hopefully is inspiring everyone that's listening to. Join um, us. You know, do it for your mental health. Do it for nothing more than your mental health. And, it's, it's important. Um, and tell Definitely. us about it. We're in. We're both in our healing girl era, so bring it on, baby. Watch this space. Bring it on. And we are at the end of our podcast. It's called Two Girls, One Pod. There's two of us and one pod. She's a girl and I'm a girl. Well, we're both women, really, and we are on the podcast. Two Girls, One Pod. Oh, that was very good. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that wrap. And uh, till next time, remember Magic May and uh, have the day day that you you deserve. deserve. Oh, we were going to add something else to it, Angie. What was that? Remember? Remember to remember. Was it something like that?
Rebecca. Oh. Remember to remind yourself to remember. Remember to remember. Who knows? Oh, who cares? We remember. Anyway, have the day you deserve. We love you all. Get in touch with us. We love you all.